Most people suffering from multiple sclerosis or spinal cord injuries can still move their eyes because they are directly connected to the brain. Some existing technologies already allow severely disabled people to stare at arrows on a computer and direct the movement of a wheelchair. But there are problems with that system, including a delay between the movement of the eyes and the wheelchair. Current tracking software often uses screen-based systems where you have a screen open and you uh, look at locations on the screen. The problem with that is that it's very simplistic and also it diverts the user's atten attention from um, the outside world uh, and therefore there's more risk of not noticing obstacles or other things in the way. A team led by Dr. Aldo Faisal at Imperial College London has developed software that allows users to maneuver the chair just by looking in the direction they want to take. Our eyes are not only a window into our soul, they are also a window now to our intentions. So if we want to go somewhere, for example, if I want to go there or there, I will look there and I will look there in a specific manner. And we can build a computer system that can decode our eye movements. Um, and so we observe eye movements with an eye tracker and we then try to make sense of them. And a computer interprets these commands and then drives the wheelchair accordingly. Two cameras trained on the eyes observe their movements and can determine whether a patient is merely looking around or wants to move in a certain direction. So essentially we track the pupil of the, of the eye and uh, via a calibration process we relate that to where the subject's looking in, in, in the world around them. Visual information detected by cameras is analyzed by algorithms within 10 milliseconds and translated into instructions for movement that's almost instantaneous. At the moment I'm just looking forward at, um, towards the floor but exactly at points on the floor that I would like to go to and the wheelchair is just responding. So if I look rightward slightly towards Will, I'll move over or I can go look left as well and it just responds to my gaze or my, my desired location that I would like to go to. The camera-based system costs only about $85 because most of the work is done by the algorithms. No expensive hardware is needed. The London team hopes to make the system commercially available within three years. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.